Hi, in this exercise we're going to talk about summarizing data here. You can see in the previous exercise with adding XY data we had created about 5,000 stations throughout the United States here and you can I can click on my identify button right here and I can click on this particular dot and you can tell me this is in Eden, the latitude, the longitude, the amount which is the minimum air temperature, the station name and the elevation. What I want to do now is I want to find the state that has the lowest or the highest average or minimum temperature or you know lowest or highest average minimum temperature and from here what I can use is to summarize if I open up my GIS data layer right here if I right mouse click on my state here you can see that statistics isn't highlighted but summarize does basically what summarize does is it goes through and counts the number of times we have an occurrence within each enumeration unit. In this case, it's going to be the state. So under AK, we're going to see how many different times AK appears, which is the symbol or the uh, abbreviation for Alaska, and then NC for North Carolina. So if we have, if we can go through and run an intercept or a spatial join and assign a spatial location to a particular point, which we'll do in ch Chapter 7, we can find the number of occurrences of, say, crimes or earthquakes or tornadoes within a particular county or census unit. In this case, what we're going to do is just find how many of these occur within each state. Now, at the same time, we're going to go through and compute the average temperature within each state also so we can create a join and then we can symbolize this. So I'm going to click on my Summarize button right here and I'm going to, I'm going to summarize the state. At the same time, I'm going to click on amount. I'm going to click on the, not the sum, but the average. Okay, I can click on the minimum and the maximum, okay, or the standard deviation. And I can click an output here. I'm going to call this, this is my GIS demo data, uh, geo database. Instead of calling it sum output, I'm going to call it summarize. Example. Okay. Do I want to add the images to the map? Yeah. Now, this is my resulting file here. Okay, so I can have each of the states right here. So I have Alaska it has the count. This tells me the number of points that I have within Alaska. This is the minimum and the maximum. If I go down here to North Carolina right here, there's 123 stations within North Carolina that have the symbol NC. The minimum temperature was 14. The maximum temperature was 38. The average temperature is 25. Now I can go through and map these. Now we've been talking about joins here and this is just a flat table right here. So this means that it doesn't have any GIS data associated with it right here. But if I open up my state data right here, I have a layer here and it also has a state abbreviation. So I can summarize, so I can do what I call a join. So I can join this file to this file because this gives me something that gives me spatial location instead of a latitude and a longitude. This is a polygon enumeration unit. It doesn't have to be a state. It could be a FIPS code. It could be a county name. I just need something that gives me or applies some sort of spatial location for this. Now I can go through and run a join right here. So I can subtract, uh, delete those. I can run a join and relate. And that I want to join my state abbreviation. This is my summarized example. And I want to join it to my state here. Okay, and I'm going to keep all records here. Okay, do I want to run this? Yes. You notice here that I have 59 counties here because of uh, 59 enumerations because I have Yukon. I think I have BC. Um, I have Canada right here. Okay, and these aren't going to be part of my GIS data layer right here. So now when I open this new attribute table up after running my join, you can see what I right have right here. So I have, I have my 51 states because DC is also included, but now each of these records isn't going to include that table. So all the join does is just sync. It syncs my GIS attribute table with this flat table and just inserts it at the end of my record right here. 
So now I have Alaska right here, and you can see Alaska is highlighted right here, but now I have my data that we were looking at before, my minimum of negative 34, my maximum of 34, and I have my average minimum temperature of 4.5. Now I can go through and map this right here. So I can double click right here. I can go to my quantities. Okay, and you notice right here when I go down to the bottom, you can see an object ID, count state, amount, minimum, maximum, and average that I can go through and map right here that we didn't have before. So you can see the power in a join. I'm going to make these some from hot to cold. Okay, and then when I go through and run my classifier right here, you can see a history, uh, histogram distribution of this here. So I'm just going to run a quantile. Click apply apply and basically what we're looking at here is the average minimum temperature on this particular day in January of 2012 so you can see obviously Florida and Georgia Louisiana and Texas have my lowest minimum temperatures you can see out in the west coast there might have been a hot you know hot spell right here during this time here and it's between 28 and 59 so I did a quantile classification and you can see these states up here they were probably just number 40 41 42 and you can see they're probably you know 28 degrees which is a lot far off from 60 60 degrees right here but it, we include it in this class because I made it a quantile classification which basically means each color appears the same number of times so you can see here the summarize goes through and counts up the number of times that each occurrence occurs if I wanted to right here going back to my original right here under my count this tells me the number of stations within each state Okay, just the number of these dots right here, that's all a summarize does, is counts the number of these dots within each of these states. So you can see California has a lot of these, Montana has a lot of these, Texas has a lot of these. Okay, if I want to go through and classify this using a quantile, we can see which states have a lot more and a lot less. So if I'm just counting up raw data, if I'm looking at tornado occurrences or something like that. I can count the number of tornadoes and at the same time summarize the number of deaths or fatalities or injuries or damage that I have going on at the same time. And you can see this map right here. This is just the count that finds the number of those dots within each of these. So in this exercise what we've talked about is the use of the summarize and at the same time I'm calculating values within my summarize to count up the number of occurrences. In this case, I counted up the average temperature within each state, and also at the same time I used a join, so now I can turn that flat table that we have right here from this summarized example, I can turn it into GIS data which I can go through and analyze.